We are crunching the numbers that the state health department just released on the coronavirus in Louisiana, and overall they look like things are holding steady. Uh, just uh, right now we have a few confirmed cases here. It looks like 245 new confirmed cases. A reminder of uh, some of those could be a backlog of testing. 11 more deaths have been reported due to the coronavirus. And here's a good sign. There are 11 fewer people in the hospital today than yesterday. Right now, it is a total of 831 people. We've gotten word of another coronavirus cancellation, the Manning Passing Academy. The football camp at Nichols State University in Thibodeau gives more than 1,000 kids the chance to work with the Manning family and other top quarterbacks. Archie Manning told our partners at the Times Picayune New Orleans Advocate that it would be too difficult to sanitize the dormitories and cafeterias for all the kids and says they're also concerned about protecting the 200 coaches and other staffers at the camp. This would have marked the camp's 25th anniversary. That celebration will be postponed until next year. Free coronavirus testing and free food is available on the West Bank today. The Alario Center is testing or the Ilario testing site reopened this morning after a long Memorial Day weekend. In addition to testing starting at two o'clock this afternoon until five, Second Harvest will be there giving out free food to those in need. The World Health Organization is issuing a startling warning. They say that countries that open up too fast could face immediate upticks and illness as well as death. The warning follows the Memorial Day weekend here in the United States where the death toll is approaching 100,000. Still, millions ventured outside and many did not follow social distancing guidelines. Reporter Tom Hansen has more. This crowded pool party at the Lake of the Ozarks over the weekend prompted health officials in Missouri to issue a travel advisory. If you were at the pool, you must self-quarantine for two weeks. The unofficial start of summer coincided with relaxed restrictions in all 50 states. After months of sheltering in place, many Americans who ventured out weren't sure what they'd find. Traffic has been backed up on both sides. Um, and the beach has been packed. We tried to go to different places to see where it's less crowded. Today, the World Health Organization issued a reminder that the number of virus cases can jump at any time. We may get a second peak in this wave. On Sunday, 25 states reported increases in their average new COVID-19 cases compared to two weeks ago. Three of them, Montana, Alaska, and Arkansas, up more than 100%. In California, 150 food processing workers have tested positive for the virus at nine LA area plants. On Sunday, Minnesota saw its largest single day increase in the number of COVID patients needing ICU beds. And in Montgomery County, Alabama, the number of cases has doubled in the past two weeks. 20 to 25% of the hospital is either filled with um, patients who are positive or who are suspicious and positive. The ICU beds are essentially totally full. Here in New York City, the stock exchange opened today after more than two months of all electronic trading. Only about a quarter of the staff was allowed back. As New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo, rang the opening bell, the Dow surged more than 600 points with traders optimistic about a vaccine. Travel, entertainment and retail stocks made early gains, but what is normally a scene of controlled chaos was more subdued under new pandemic rules that include social distancing and masks. Tom Hanson, CBS News, New York. And Nevada's governor is expected to announce when and how Las Vegas casinos will reopen later today. The World Health Organization has suspended its clinical trial of hydroxychloroquine to see if it would help with COVID-19. A recent study finds a higher risk of death and heart problems associated with the malaria drug. The FDA has warned against taking hydroxychloroquine with antibiotics and has said that the drug should only be used for coronavirus uh, patients in formal studies. President Trump says he took the drug himself as a preventative measure. It is also prescribed for arthritis.